fish for about everything that I can find. Joe Terleski has fished the Willamette River downstream from Portland for more than 50 years. He's well aware of the toxics lurking in the river sediment, the result of decades of contamination from 20th century industrial activities, which is why salmon is often his fish of choice. Now, the general thought is that the salmon don't have the contaminants because they aren't resident. They're transitory. They go out to the ocean. They're feeding most of their life out there. But a new study done by scientists with NOAA Fisheries found those toxics, things like PCBs and DDT, are making their way into juvenile Chinook salmon through the food they eat in this area. As a result, those salmon, all less than a year old, are likely not surviving long enough to make it back to the ocean. That, if, if that information is accurate, uh, it is highly problematic because it's always been assumed that it's native resident fish and non-native resident fish that uptake the vast majority of those pollutants in Portland Harbor. The study looked at three areas of the river north of the Fremont Bridge, but it wasn't all bad news. It also found if the contaminants were cleaned up, the salmon population in the Willamette River would increase significantly. Our modeling suggests that uh, we may be seeing, you know, in the future as much as 20 percent uh, increases in the number of adults that come back to spawn as a function of uh, removing a lot of these toxics in the lower uh, part of the river. And that would be a major boost for salmon recovery. The bottom line, the more the Portland Harbor Superfund site is cleaned up, the bigger the salmon population in the Willamette. And that's good news for just about everyone who cares about this river. And it undergirds the, the need to move the Superfund process along. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, anything to get more fish back. <laughs> yeah, and that's why the scientists say they will be back out here along this stretch of the Willamette River this summer to do additional testing on other fish.